Welcome to WatchGuard Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I talk about Facebook's password faux pas. Man, Facebook just can't keep out of the negative news lately. I'd kind of feel sorry for them if I wasn't a little peeved about how they treat our personal data. But Facebook is in the news again with yet another password leak. Granted, this one is internal only. Today news in a Facebook blog post came out saying that Facebook in January realized that millions of Facebook users, hundreds of millions really, as well as users of their other platforms like Instagram, have had their clear text passwords exposed somewhere internally at Facebook. Normally, uh, a, a website like Facebook has a big database backend, and they tend to store passwords semi-securely as hashed non-clear text files in that database. But some sort of Facebook processing was happening that also was storing a clear text version of many Facebook user passwords somewhere else. Now, the good news is this has not leaked or been stolen by attackers. It's only within Facebook's organization, which does mean around 20,000 employees might be able to access this data. Facebook does have metrics for how often this data has been touched though, and according to their audits and analysis, it hasn't been used in any uh, abusive manner or, or stolen by the employees. So you're probably safe, but it is kind of discouraging to see that this huge company that already is having trouble protecting our private data has copies of our clear text passwords internally at their organization. Now, they obviously are probably going to fix this. They haven't recommended you go change your password, but if you're worried about this, do know employees may have access to your password, so it may be worth you changing it in a few weeks after they fix this issue, just so you know you have a more hidden password. Anyways, interesting story. Yet again, it's another example of why multi-factor is very important. I think by now you know that passwords alone are not good, but I also argue that other factors have risks as well. Biometrics are easy to use, but they can be cloned as well in many cases. So I heavily recommend you use multi-factor, uh, and Facebook does have a multi-factor option, or you can use AuthPoint and integrate with uh, SaaS products like Facebook as well. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.